Hey, today I'm going to go over the differences between designing for an online publication using PDF format, which can be seen on a lot of different e-readers, um, and you can also upload it to issuu.com and have it embedded in there, so it's um, almost like a flippable online magazine. Um, the difference between that and coding for an EPUB format, just some basic considerations when you're designing in InDesign. Uh, I have an example I made really quick up here as just a short little six page magazine about you know profiling different designers just a hypothetical example with some fill text and um, the difference here is as I lay this out in InDesign of course with text boxes uh, placing a photo in the background have the in this issue the two stories over here I have an illustration that I made notice that it looks pixelated you can actually right click display performance, high quality, and it will make it uh, nice and crisp there. Um, so I have an example layout, okay, and maybe a little sidebar up here with the illustration that made an illustrator uh, with some vector art for a pie chart, just some made up stats. And then at the bottom, I just have complementary colors with the blue and the orange there, and just a another feature story with larger titles of course and um, I just have if you look at actually instead of preview if you click down here on the bottom of the toolbar and go normal you'll see I have two columns there just layout margins of columns um, I'm actually selected up there so I have four up there two here with the larger gutter in the middle and I just did that one um, kinda half and half almost and a consistent, these are the same exact size and they're all lined as well with the same size in between, then a back cover. Now if you took this to Kinko's and printed it out, you would have this as the front cover, this is the first spread, uh, the second spread, so two and three and four and five are the two spreads there and then the back cover. Same thing if you upload it to a site like issuu.com and if you look at this on an e-reader, it's going to look pretty much the same as as you're laying it out. Okay, so you can use different design principles of balance and alignment, proximity, as well as the balance between consistency, repetition, and you know variation in the colors, fonts, um, overall design. Now, the difference between this, you know, if you notice this, I've placed this, and these are all lined up almost like on a grid pattern. Um, I have another file open here, and actually I could have made this a Photoshop file and added the magazine cover text here, but I just put the image there as an example. If you look at this, this obviously is not laid out the same, um, but this is if I wanted to export it as an EPUB. Now with the PDF, if I want to export this as a PDF, well you can just go to File Print if you have Adobe Acrobat installed, and just change the printer to PDF and hit Print. So make sure the settings are okay, you know, all pages and whatnot. But in the other one, it's all about anchoring images, anchoring uh, any elements you want in there in one uh, text box, okay? So with this one, I could have this text on top of that. I would have to do that in Photoshop and add it to that image and then insert the image. But if you'll notice, I'll just show you an example here. This is one flowing text box. So this is the title, uh, the little slogan there, and then in this issue, and then the first story, and then the actual body copy, then a text box. Now if you notice, or I'm sorry, not, then a sidebar. If you notice if I click this sidebar and try to move it out, it won't. Because I copied it, after placing it, you can copy it, and then actually use the type tool and click in here and insert it in. So if I press Control V there, Command V on the Mac, it's actually in the clipboard already. I've actually placed it in there, okay? So if I had it over, let's say over here, floating, that would be if I'm designing a PDF. But I'm not, I'm actually designing it for EPUB, so I'll actually, after placing it, copy it, go to Edit Copy, and then choose the Type tool, and then click it in here and then press Control V or Command V or Edit Paste and that will actually uh, you know put it within that 
uh, overall text box. So it's actually part of that layout. Okay. Of course, control and click and drag the side there, and you can bring it down. Now, once you get down here, you'll notice that the type for the feature story uh, title is not at the top of the page. That's because this is going to be an e-reader. It's not going to automatically uh, start on a new page. There are ways to do that. You can save each chapter, say, in a book or each feature in a magazine as different InDesign files then put them in as a book instead of a document and then export that as an EPUB. But if you just have one small little publication like this, probably just going to have one uh, InDesign file. And um, you'll notice these three images as well. They're on top of each other. You could put them beside each other. You could just do that in Photoshop and make them one image. But um, if you'll notice, these are anchored again in this overall text box. So you place all these over here off the artboard and then copy them or you could actually just copy and paste them in here. But um, So if I had one of these photos, let's say this one over here, let's say I have it floating, oops, let's say I have it floating over here off to the side, I'll go ahead and edit copy, and I can delete that one, press the type tool, click in here, and then paste it in. And it will actually paste it in this text box so it's anchored in there. Because an e-reader, when you export it as an EPUB, it needs to just be images, elements. Um, for this one, I actually had, in the original one, these are a couple different elements. I just hit print screen and then paste it in a Photoshop and then cropped. So I just got that design there um, to save it as a JPEG. Because this, the JPEGs have to be anchored in the overall text so it'll go all the way to the end of the magazine there and I don't have a back cover um, because on e-readers using EPUB format it's um, basically the container is different from the actual content because it has style sheets for the layout and the font and whatnot and it's not as customizable as say a PDF that you can use see on an e-reader also so that's the difference okay um, so if you wanted to, I ever went, I already showed you how to export this as a PDF. Well, if you want to export this as an EPUB, all you have to do is go to File, Export 4, and then EPUB in CS5. And then you could go ahead and um, hit Save, and you know, then you'd have an EPUB format that you could see uh, on various e-readers. So that's the big difference is less customizability as far as the design uh, because the style guide or the style sheet is on there, the CSS style sheet is on there. So the container, the way it's displayed is separate from the content because it's just XML coding. So you have the content in here, you have the images, the text, all anchored in the same text box that's flowed from here down to the next page. So if I clicked in here and hit enter, it's going to push this down here because this is one long text box with anchored images and text and titles as well. Thank you.